as a slackliner, what like was the longest crossing you've ever done? And then what was the most fun crossing? That's a great question. The, oh my God, they might be the same line. So um, the, the world record for length right now is 2.7 kilometers, um, 2,700 meters, pretty badass. In the Midwest here, I have traveled out to California, Colorado, <clears throat> North Carolina, set up some big lines. We haven't got, gotten into those length ranges. Um, in Southern Utah, we set up a 455 meters, something like that, uh, which is around 1300 feet or something like that. I don't, you know, the, um, uh, but that was incredible. Um, so yeah, just the most fun. Yeah, longest line, 460 meters. I could, um, like it's, it's common for people to rig one kilometer these days now granted that is a huge 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 slack line how do you um, set that up like you did one across a lake how do you even set that line the one across the lake in just a couple weekends we're setting up a 420 meter that will do the same way uh so you tag it so the first question is how do you connect your two anchor points uh there's a number of ways to do that for the real big lines we'll use a drone with like 80 pound test fishing line and so you take off with, your drone takes off with a fishing line attached to the bottom, usually you use like a little carabiner as the weight to hang it down. And then you fly that drone well over a quarter mile away, towing this big fishing line. Uh, sometimes it's, you know, uh, thrusting to get there or whatever, uh, but it always does. And uh, then you land on that side, you replace the fishing line with like a quarter inch nylon rope is what we'll do most, most frequently. Uh, and then we'll hook the webbing onto that rope on the far side once we've made that connection and then use a couple pulleys in progress capture to pull the line across. <laughs> and then once you have the line across and hooked into the other anchor, uh, the side that it came from, they'll tension it and then fasten that anchor in boom your slack how long does that start. take it completely depends um so a lot of anchors sometimes it's just a nice flat surface with a big tree and that's your anchor mm -hmm. maybe a big tree on both sides sometimes the anchor you're hanging from the side of a wall you know you wrap down and it's some bolts or you're wrapping something or so um how long the line takes to rig is almost entirely dependent on what the situation is like at both anchors. But a 355 meter, which is like a little over 1100 feet, and that's, I think, the line you're talking about that was over this big blue, uh, that's actually a mine pit and it's all groundwater there. So that water is just crystal clear, 300 feet deep, just this huge lake. We set that line up start to finish, like from arrival to we're ready to walk it in less than two hours. Wow. That's for sure. That's a really big line to rig that fast. Uh, but it's cool that you can do it there. And the reason that's possible is because it's just two giant trees on the top of the hill on either side of this big, beautiful pit. Where was that? Ago. Duluth? Chisholm. Where's? Uh, near the, like the uh iron range yeah i went riding up there once and they like oh uh, it's all that like iron ore copper shit mm -hmm. and when we rode four wheelers it bled through all of our clothes so like, totally. we got off and we were like all of us just looked like you were painted red completely and the yeah the the iron that's in the ground there it gets all over your car clothes our Everything. dog bonzer comes he's a white he has a lot of white he comes back all tan you know? yeah <laughs> yeah that's red dude so before dude. we close up on slacklining stuff if people are interested you're doing slackline minnesota where can people get like two questions where can people learn more about this if they want to get into it and then second uh, where can people learn more about your nonprofit? Those are two great questions. So for slacklining generally, um, uh, 
learning more about slacklining generally in terms of like a good a good resource i would tell them to visit balancecommunity.com okay that will be an okay start it's a retailer uh but they have a like a slack science blog that goes over how to set up slack lines and then so balancecommunity.com that's a really good one and then search the slacktivity youtube channel and these two uh places online they'll get you started and there's a lot more to find after that but slacktivity is cool it's a company if you just guess how to spell slacktivity and then put that into google it'll get you there it's a company that does a lot of cool instructional videos with goofy accents um, they're from switzerland and uh but they put out good material that's that doesn't have too much like uh hey we're trying to make money off this youtube video type vibe so yeah, yeah this activity youtube channel and then uh, balancecommunity.com would be two good places to start and then slackline minnesota you guys are it's a nonprofit. what are you trying to do and where can people donate yeah yeah so the the ex the nonprofit exists you mind if i just talk about it for for a quick second yeah, absolutely so uh it's a it's a nonprofit that serves the midwest so slackline minnesota that kind of includes wisconsin uh iowa um the dakotas to some degree but it's kind of this area definitely illinois um and the the reason it began is because we needed to build the community to accomplish what we were trying to pull off in terms of slack lines we were trying to set up uh, and so like the mission for the organization is really our altruistic uh, safety instruction community building stewardship you can get in a lot of trouble if you start setting up slack lines where you where you're not supposed to uh, there are some pretty clear uh boundaries um that we've kind of worked out with municipalities over time don't rig to a bridge but if you want to rig over a body of water as long as your anchors are trees stuff like that um and so that's the that's the purpose of it um but we needed to build the community to kind of support our own endeavors and ambitions um and so we wanted basically we wanted more slackliners more people who are stoked we said we want to introduce this to people the right type of people will like it like if if somebody starts to kind of latch on to the activity they'll generally run with it because it is so awesome it's just not something that a lot of people know about yet uh but the question was okay how do we get more people slacklining with us we thought like okay we should do like some boosted facebook posts or like a boosted instagram post and then the next question is like, okay, am I gonna advert, am I gonna like make an advertisement telling uh, random people to meet me and my friends in the park to get on like this, you know, to practice an activity that has some inherent risk? Yeah. And how do you confront the personal liability question in doing that? And so it all kind of, and then the other, and you can't exactly unless you have somebody sign like your personal waiver, you know, but that's kind of like a half measure. Uh, and then as a group, we were having more engagements, uh, getting asked to partner with like big brothers, big sisters, stuff like that. And so eventually we said, OK, we need an, an, an entity with some general liability insurance and then the protections that come from operating through a nonprofit corporation as opposed to just us. Um, and so that's kind of how it got started. Um, the activity of the organization is pretty pure in that if you don't hear a lot from it, um, you can assume that everybody's like connected and busy slacklining. Yeah. Um, but what what it is in its core is it's basically a website with a way to get in touch with us. We hold weekly Slack jams, which is an opportunity to get on a bunch of different lines. Uh, equipment that would take a long time to acquire yourself, you can try it all out right away. Uh, so we're kind of serving our area in that sense while serving our own ambitions to get more capable uh, Slackliners in our group so we can do the cool stuff that we wanna do. Um, so we're like ambitious and we have a service ethic.